Hi everyone and welcome to another makeover video. Today I'm giving the sims for my Seasons Let's Play a much needed makeover because we are going on part 34 of the series and they're all sporting pretty much the same looks they've had since part 1 so it's definitely time for a change. And also we're at the beginning of summer in that series so I just wanted to give them some outfits that are a little more warm weather appropriate. And we are starting with Madison here and for her hair I ended up going with this hair that came with Parenthood. I did make these sims in a crazy video last May, I believe, before I even started the series. And this was the hair that she had originally because when I wanted to give her new hair, I was trying to find custom content hairs that had a, the same texture that her hair did. I couldn't really find anything that I exactly liked. And then I remember that this was the hair that I gave her when I first created her and that it looked really good on her. So I decided just to go back to her roots and give her what she originally had. And I just love how this hair looks. Honestly, I think it looks better on her than the hair that she had from Seasons. And with her outfits, I was trying to give her outfits a very cheery look, because she definitely has a very cheery personality, likes a lot of bright colors, so I was trying to show that. So for this outfit here, I was trying to go for more of a casual look, because the first two outfits she had were a little bit nicer, so with this one, I was trying to just make it more of like a laid back outfit. So we just got that tank top with some shorts, and then she's got some sandals in the end. And I just really like how this base game tank top looks together with the shorts, like the peak of the tank top pretty much exactly matches the shorts. So it just kind of goes together really nicely because I did use some clothes from Strangerville on her just because I really like the look above them and I just felt like they really fit her vibe. And then for her formal wear, I just gave her this dress that came with Get Famous, which I did think it looked pretty nice on her. I didn't really change her makeup too much because I, I like the look of it. I just kind of changed the shades of some of her lipsticks and eyeshadows here and there to make them go a little bit better with her outfits. And then for athletic wear here, I gave her something a little more colorful because her original outfit was cute, but it was mostly whites and beiges. So I just wanted to make it a little brighter, also make it something that would work better for the hot weather because weather, she just had that sweatshirt and some leggings before. So I gave her these more capri length weight le leggings, which I think were the same length as the other one she had, but that's fine. And then I gave her a brighter color top also changed up her sleepwear to make it more like something you'd wear in the summer because of course she had long sleeves and long pants before. For her party wear, I just gave her this dress that came with Strangerville, which I just think is adorable. And I also, also it has that floral pattern on it, which just works perfectly for her because she is in the, flo the florist career. So, I mean, it's just so fitting that she would have flowers on some of her clothing. So that's also something I was trying to do. Like I was trying to find swatches of some of the things that had flowers on them. Like for a swimwear, I changed it to the swatch of the same swimsuit she had that had some flowers on it. It was a little bit brighter in color. Now we're on to her hot weather outfits. She did have two of them, so I of course redid both of them. Her first one is a little bit more laid back. So I gave her this tank top that came with laundry day stuff and then I gave her some shorts that I believe came with season. So I just changed the swatch of that tank top to more of a bright blue and then Gave her these shorts in white, which of course looks very bright, definitely suits her personality a lot. And then to finish it off, we of course have some sandals. And then her other one is a little bit, like it's a little bit nicer than this outfit. So I gave her this dress that is a base game dress, but I'm pretty sure it didn't actually come with the base game. I think it was something they added into a patch later on because I didn't even notice this dress until sometime last summer, but for all I know, maybe it did come with the game and I just never noticed it, but I swear it didn't originally come with the game. So um, I kind of wonder if any of you know more about that because I've always been kind of curious. Like I, I don't know which patch that dress actually came from, but we are on to her cold weather outfit. I didn't really change it. I just added hat onto it just to make it a little bit more colorful, just to do something a little different with it, but I liked it in general. So I didn't feel a need to completely redo it. But we're on to giving Robin her makeover now, so I changed her hair to this one, which is a custom content hair. And I will have links below in the description to the custom content that I did use on these sims, just in case any of you, you know, anything catches your eye and you want to download anything that you see. I don't know if I'm going to upload these sims to the gallery. Um, you know, I think I actually will up the, upload them. So I'll just have some information down below on how to download them because since I do have custom content on them, I of course can't supply a link, but all stuff in there on how to find them. So in case any of you want to add them to your game, you can, because I have had a few people ask me about uploading Sims from my Let's Plays to the gallery because they want to add them to their game. So just in case any of you want them, I will go ahead and add them in. But for Robin's look, I didn't want to change her look too much. Like originally I was thinking, you know, maybe I would 
give her a little bit more of a professional style than that she's a business owner, but in the end, I decided to just not change things up with her too much. So it's pretty much the same style she had before, but a little bit more colorful. Like I, I was just trying to brighten things up a little bit. And I also lightened her makeup up, makeup up as well because she had a lot of black lipstick before, a lot of really dark eyeshadow. So she definitely looks a lot better with that lightened up some. And I just really love her style and her outfit. She's probably my favorite Sim to do the makeover of. But for her formal wear, I gave her this dress that came with cats and dogs because she didn't have the blue dress on before that I gave her for prom. And I just really loved how the blue looked on her. So when I saw that that dress had the same swatch, I just really wanted to give that to her. And then for her sleepwear, we're just kind of doing the same thing we do with Madison where we're giving her shorts and a tank top just to make it something a little bit cooler for the hot weather. And then for her party wear, I gave her that jacket, which came with a patch that, yeah, I think it came with a patch that came up before Get Famous that had the stylist career in it. Uh, Cause I just thought that looked really cool on her and well with her vibe. So we uh, gave her that. And then I didn't change her swimwear because I actually liked how it looked. And I mean, it's not an outfit we really see much. So I didn't think it was necessary to go ahead and change that. And then for her hot weather outfit, I just gave her this tank top and then these shorts for bowling night stuff and kind of left it that. So not really that drastic of a change. And I also didn't really change up her cold weather outfit too much. I was gonna give her that jacket from Get Famous originally because I thought that looked really cool on her, but it's got a little bit of a gap between the bottom of it and her jeans. So I mean, I figured realistically, you would get very cold in that in the winter. You know, it's not really gonna do a whole lot of good. So I just changed it to this jacket because I wanted to give her a little something different than what Madison had because she had the same coat as Madison before. So yeah, that's a little bit of a change that I made, but um, well, actually the series is gonna end before the weather gets cold again. But I was gonna say, if, you know, what maybe once it gets to fall, I could change her one of her outfits to that jacket from Get Famous, but you know, that we're not gonna be continuing the series into the fall, so that's not gonna end up happening. But who knows, maybe in the future, I'll bring this, this family back in another series. We'll see what happens. So we can always do that then. But we're on to Rachel's makeover now. I didn't end up changing all of her outfits because I actually gave her, her outfits not too long ago because she aged up into a child not super long ago. It was less than 10 parts ago. So I did change up everything, but I did change, of course, change her everyday outfits to look a little bit more summer appropriate. I also gave her those braids, which I thought really looked cute on her. Change up her formal wear a little bit as well, but I kept some of her outfits the same. Like I think I kept her athletic wear the same. I kept her sleep, no, not sleepwear, um, her, yeah, I'm changing her sleepwear up here, but I, I kept her swimwear the same and also her cold weather outfit because that was an outfit of hers that I just really loved. So I just didn't feel a need to make a change to that. But this is pretty much it for the makeover. So I will have some pictures showing all their outfits in case you want to get a closer look at them. And that's gonna be all for me. So if you enjoy the video, thanks for watching and bye.